PDD Holdings. PDD is the symbol. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chart, see what we can find out here. So as you can see, um, since the um, low that was made in, in May around the 60 to $61 area, it gapped up and held that gap and it continues to make um, higher highs and higher lows on the chart. And um, you can see that more recently it's uh, made a run up towards the $90 level and filled the gap uh, or nearly filled the gap from back in um, the spring at around the $95 area. We think that the stock has got some, got some legs to it. Um, check out the relative strength here. It's been making higher highs and higher lows. It's got a nice steep angle, which means that the, the, the buyers are still coming in on, on, uh, on PDD. Um, you can see the channel that was made over here. Um, doesn't have quite as many um, uh, tags to, uh, to create a, uh, an uptrend line, but still, um, I, I still feel that this is a, a, a good uh, representation of what the stock is doing and making higher highs and higher lows. It was important to get above that June high, which is about an $82.5 area, and we've, we're comfortably above that, um, that point right now. Let's take a look at the weekly chart here, though. Um, if you can get a little better view of things. And of course, with the MACD here, with the nice crossover on the weekly chart and the traders dynamic, which uh, takes a look at the relative strength versus where Bollinger Bands are at. It's on a buy signal now. The stochastics are actually at a, um, uh, at a point where we're almost overbought here. It looks like it's trying to roll over here, but I think that if we get it past this, uh, this January high, let's call it um, about 106 and change, we get above that, above that area. Um, I think we've got a chance to get to the old all-time highs, which come in back in January 21 at about $212. So it's going to take a little while to get up there. But, of course, this weekly chart is uh, quite uh, quite strong, very constructive here. Um, and if we get a turn on these candlesticks to uh, a teal or a blue color, um, that's going to uh, give us another uh, positive sign, another uh, arrow in the quiver for the bulls. So, that's PD, PDD Holdings. I really like this name, and uh, I think this has got some more upside here, at least to the very uh, very near term, to 95 area and beyond that, uh, to probably to 106 to 110 before it stalls. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.